A Maple Grove couple is celebrating a pretty cool feat. Joe and Sally Whitekin were part of a team that took third place in the multi-block ice sculpting competition at the St. Paul Winter Carnival. And if you're wondering how it's done, let's just say it's a lot harder than you think. Photojournalist Dustin Scholl shows us how they did it. These are the trophies from the uh, multi-block competition from the past two years. And we're soon gonna have one from 2023 for this year. We moved here about six years ago from Pittsburgh. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll embrace one of the <laughs> Minnesota art forms. We're part of the team, but you know, we're just learning. They just kind of, you know, here's how you use this particular tool. And Joe made the shield on one of the figures this year, and I made a bow and some other features. So we have 48 hours to do this sculpture. And of course the weather, you have to have to be prepared. And this year was pretty cold. You know, you're so engrossed, you have only so much time. And then you do, you step back and think, wow, we did that, yeah. It's a lot of work getting up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's five degrees out and that's the high. I'm gonna be out in this all day. It takes a little bit of motivation to get out the house, but together we do it. People say, you know, would you do it again? And I tell them it's a game day decision. We were very happy because there's some great ice sculptors out there. I mean, if you go and look, they're just, they're amazing. I'm amazed at the ice. You can get so thin, you can bring out such detail. At the end, they put a blowtorch towards it and the ice becomes translucent. What do you do to celebrate? Drive home, take a hot bath, and go to bed, and just sleep like pff, out. The St. Paul Winter Carnival runs through Sunday. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.